Hi everyone and welcome back to yet another YouTube video which is about SPF. So yes, today we're going to be um, talking about the different spectrums of SPF, what exactly do the spectrum means. SPF stands for sun protection factor and it is a degree to which the sunscreen will protect your skin from the uh, harmful rays of sun. There are so many options for the uh, strength of the sunscreen available in the market so it can get a little difficult to choose which one is the right one and which is the best sunscreen that can protect your skin from all the damaging so there are majorly two types of sunscreen which is one physical sunscreen and second is chemical sunscreen so broad spectrum spf sunscreen work by having two different types of sunscreen work together the physical sunscreen sit on the skin surface and protect it by acting like a shield uh, ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide creates a physical protection on the skin to block some rays whereas chemical sunscreens absorb the rays preventing them from penetrating into your skin when chemical and physical sunscreen work together they broaden the protection from both rays of sun so now let's talk about different levels of sunscreen and what exactly do they mean a sun protection level is a number that helps you know how it will take for the sun to burn the skin when using that level of sunscreen when using spf 50 sunscreen as directed on the label the user can expect it that it would take 50 times longer to burn compared to not using any type of sunscreen when evaluating which level of sunscreen works best for you think about how long it takes you to burn if your skin tends to redden um, by staying in the sun for just 10 minutes, SPF 15 will protect your skin 150 minutes if it is applied correctly. A higher SPF does not mean more protection, but there are indeed some notable differences. SPF 15 offers a protection of 93% from UVB rays. SPF 30 offers protection from 97% of UVB rays. SPF 50 offers protection of 98% of UVB rays and SPF 100 offers protection from 99% from UVB rays. There is actually a proper way to apply sunscreen to get the best protection from the level of SPF. At least 20 to 30 minutes from going outside, apply at least 2 tablespoons um, onto the exposed areas. The face alone needs a large dollop to uh, protect your skin from all the harmful and damaging sun rays. Apply carefully and make sure to not miss any commonly missed body parts for example your neck, your ears, behind your ears and back of your neck. Be generous with the amount of sunscreen being used as sunscreen is often underused. Wearing sunscreen can um, often create a sense of security that makes forgetting about the sun and the sunscreen possible. No matter the level of SPF, all sunscreen must be reapplied after every two hours. Now let's talk about the sun protection strategy. You need to wear sunscreen even when it is cloudy outside because the um, harmful UV rays still can affect your skin. So beyond that, um, there are few measures that you still need to take care of. For example, always make sure that you are seeking shade and um, wearing wide brim hats and uh, wearing clothing that will actually protect and cover your skin also a lip balm with spf in it and um, wearing sunglasses can also help a lot with protecting your skin from the harmful uv rays it can be challenging uh, to decide which is the best to protect skin from sunburns that can cause skin damage but mostly dermats like to encourage everyone to wear a sunscreen all the time um, irrespective of what the weather looks like and, and reapply the sunscreen after every two hours so that was it about the spf so if you want to know more details about any of the spf or any of these factors do let us know in the comments down below and we will make sure to cover all of them up and i'll see you guys next time